Right now, Pittsburgh Sports Show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone. It is a Monday night, and we're here talking sports with you. It's been a busy weekend. If you have an opinion about what's gone on, and there's a lot that's gone on, call us right here on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. It's 412-575-2600. You can also tweet this program at KD Pomp, at Gene Collier, and we will get into beginning with the turbulent weekend that we saw, and it led to the conclusion of the Antonio Brown story. For now, although, as Jerry Dulac pointed out on Twitter, it's not official until Wednesday even though there's very little, small chance the Steelers would ever say, ah, you know what, we don't want to do this. Uh, it's potentially out there, even though Antonio Brown has already made his move to Oakland, California with the Raiders. Gene Collier, outstanding columnist of the Post-Gazette, is here. So how do you think this whole thing went down, and how will Antonio Brown be remembered as far as the Steelers' career is concerned? As um, the best receiver in Steelers' history and a guy who went out of town on really bad terms, and uh, I have a weird feeling, Bob, that we are getting our, ahead of ourselves on this. Wednesday at 4 o'clock, none of this may be true. <laughs> you really think so? Or are you just saying that? <laughs> no, I mean, really. I mean, we're, we're making all kinds of assumptions here, I think. Well, I mean, he, uh, we'll see. If that happens, boy, would that be a big story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, A.B., we're not doing it. Therefore, here, Oakland, you have your third and your fifth round pick back. Whatever the case, uh, the other loss was, we talked about Marcus Gilbert last week, who was also traded for yeah. a sixth-round pick. When you think about <clears throat> Le'Veon Bell, who's still looking for a deal and apparently has some suitors tonight, maybe the Jets are the one involved. He just tweeted out, oh, so torn. So conflicted, yeah. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I am so, not conflicted about Le'Veon Bell. In the end, though, <laughs> Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, will have left the organization for two third-round picks and a fifth-round pick. Yeah. Given how important they were to this franchise at one point, What's your takeaway from that return? Well, it's a disaster for the Steelers. Um, just an unmitigated disaster. Um, Antonio Brown um, followed the instructions to the letter of his agent, uh, Drew Rosenhaus, and uh, you know they drove down his value to the extent that the Steelers had no choice but to unload him for a fifth and a third. And as I said, I believe on this show, Bob, and this is the only show I'm on, um, I, I didn't think they would get a third and a fifth from him. I thought they would uh -huh. settle for a sixth. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, honestly, got to the point where the Steelers just didn't want to deal with this anymore, period. And so given that, I thought the return was okay. Uh, you know, people talk about winners and losers. And Le'Veon won, and now he's being trumped as a pioneer, you know, as a, as a trailblazer for others, which, quite frankly, is never going to happen. I don't see anyone, with the exception of a rare talent who can play this egomaniac kind of card the way he's played it uh, and get away with it. We saw it with uh, Terrell Owens. We saw it with Randy Moss, and both of them were traded for almost the same kind of return, even though they were really good receivers, Gene. So there's something to be said that uh, teams just get tired of your act and they're willing to take anything to get rid of you. It's happened before. Yeah, it was a really good point by Jerry Dulac on Twitter tonight about what was the return for Randy Moss and Terrell Owens when they were both 30 also, and there was very modest, a fourth and I think a sixth. Um, but Le'Veon Bell, you know, passed up 14 in order to make X, which is not going to be, uh, he's not going to get that money back, and he is not going to establish any kind of uh, salary level for running backs at anywhere near that level. So running backs, particularly in the modern game, just aren't that valuable. They aren't, and that's, that's the truth. I mean, you look around, you see, you know, Kareem Hunt was kicked off the Chiefs after the NFL came down hard on him. What did they do? Had a better run game with Williams in their back. Right. Undrafted free agent. Right. If you look around the league, you will see guys like that all the time, and I think that will cut into Le'Veon Bell's mark. He'll still get paid something, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near what he gave up or what he expects. We'll talk about that as we go along. Right. Jesse James has decided to leave the Steelers. Gene, are you surprised by that? Got a multi-year deal from Detroit. Um, no, I think um, the Steelers were content to let him look around and hope that they might be able to get him back uh, for less money than that. But, um, I mean, I always admired the way Jesse James played. I never thought he was a great player, but I thought he, uh, he, he did everything the Steelers wanted uh, from, that, uh, from that standpoint. All right. Uh, one uh, tweet here before we go to break is from Lee Marvin Wannabe. He says, guys, love the show, but enough A.B., 
Well, unfortunately, we've got to keep talking about it until something officially happens and then beyond that, I suppose, but not as much. But this guy says, Lee, on Twitter, JMO and T. Willie will both be in the top ten in Cy Young voting. Trevor Williams may win it all, even with the metrics say he will only be average. We'll, we'll talk some baseball with you and also some Penguins sure. who take on a very good Washington Capitals team tomorrow night. They've won seven in a row. How big is that game? We'll discuss it when we come back with you at 412-575-2600. It's the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call right here on Pittsburgh CW. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter.